And this inductee was among the best, a mentor and teacher who did it by the book for over three decades. A lifetime of whistles, striped shirts, and noisy gyms has been a life well lived by Portland's Commissioner of Basketball Officials, Howard Mayo. Howard is known these days as a manager and mentor of officials. He has been in that role for over 30 years. Over 20 years, with whistle in hand, prepared Mayo for that role. Howard began officiating in the state of Montana in 1956. Then after moving to Portland, he moved up to college officiating around the Northwest. Then it was time to pick up a clipboard and a telephone. Mayo has served as commissioner, president, and instructional chairman for the Portland Basketball Officials Association. If there's a high school basketball game in the metro area, the officials were assigned by Howard. Same story at many of the state basketball tournaments. A guy who does it by the book. Mayo is the rules interpreter for the Oregon School Activities Association and conducts clinics for officials and other rule interpreters. For his work ethic and consistency, Mayo is a life member of the International Association of Approved Basketball Officials. He was honored by the National Federation of High Schools and tonight, Oregon honors the basketball official's best friend and mentor, Howard Mayo. Howard Mayo, ladies and gentlemen. Here, Howard. Yeah, yeah. Boo. Boo. <laughs> How often have you heard that? Boo. I feel better already. Yeah. <laughs> That's terrific. Why officiating? How did that all get started, may I ask? Well, uh, when you live in Butte, Montana, <laughs> there's not a lot to do unless you want to work in the copper mines. Okay. So in 1950, I decided uh, uh, I wanted to uh, maybe officiate. I had some friend officiating, and I worked the little, what I call little peepers games and the CYO program, and, uh, but nothing organized. In 1954, I joined the Montana Officials Association as, uh, as a member in organized groups. And I have been a member of the Portland Basketball Officials Association since uh, 1960. Uh, to me, this is a, an award is a joint award. Uh, I mean, uh, anyone who gets an award uh, can thank people who have helped them along the way. And uh, in my judgment, um, uh, people who helped me along the way and have been very instrumental in my officiating career, the first is our Lord and Savior. And um, uh, my family, my wife, uh, who has supported me all these years, and to all the coaches and athletic directors who I've dealt with, Dick Gray. You know, Dick was the only coach I ever knew who never saw a traveling violation that he didn't like. <laughs> and that's why we nicknamed Dick Steps Gray. Steps <laughs> Gray. Over the I years. And uh, I appreciate the fans. And I appreciate this hall for, for uh, uh, a uh, award for an official. Because officiating is an is important part of the game. Why, certainly. If you, if, you know, we... <laughs> They can't have a game without us, and we can't have a game without them. You got it. You know what I mean? You got it. Well, it's time. It's I want, time. I want to say one well, thing yes, before go I right ahead. And I, Stay as long and as I, you and want. I, and I promised several people I would say this, and this, this is a phrase about officiating. Okay. And I want you all to remember this. And that is, 
It ain't nothing unless we call it. <laughs> uh, Howard, you have so, so many friends all over. And a lot of them are here. And it's time to induct you into the State of Oregon Sports Hall of Fame. So if you'll pardon the expression, officially, you are in. Thank you very much. How's that? That's good.